Hello, everybody. This is Triforce Android, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess. Last time, we conquered the Forest Temple and received this thing here, which is called a Few Shadow. This time, we are going to start heading over to Faron Wood to the next area of the game, which is known as... Well, you'll see what it's called. <clears throat> so, to get there, we gotta go left. And thank goodness I didn't have to use my fairy right there. And you'll see that this gate is open. Well, this is a good thing because this allows us to go into the one part of the game that might as well be the hub. Welcome to Hyrule Field, and one of the coolest songs in the entire game. trees is a piece of heart. But first, before we grab it, there's something over here. What's this? It's a, it's a golden beetle. There's a total of 24 golden bugs to find in this game. Now, I don't remember where the piece of heart is. This is an enemy, I forgot what it's called. And another new enemy! This is a Karkara! <clears throat> they are flying enemies. I don't know how long they've been in the Zelda series. I am trying to find that piece of heart. I know it's in one of the trees here. Oh, wait a second. Never mind, I thought I saw it. this opportunity to practice your ending blow. Heck, gummit, where is it? Here's the piece of heart. Come here. Oh, wait. There it is. So you, you go to that tree, and you throw your boomerang, you'll get a piece of heart. All right. Now, I won't... There is another golden beetle somewhere. I just don't remember where it is. 
You can tell when a golden insect n is nearby if you hear that, um... Twinkling sound. Oh, wait, there it is. You can see that little yellow spot there. So get a lock on it, throw your boomerang. Now very carefully approach the bug. You want to be nice and slow. When it says A, pick up, push the A button to get the other beetle. I don't know what this enemy is called. <clears throat> okay. So now we want to head over to where the Twilight Barrier is. Wrong one. So we want to go this way, I believe. Just follow this path here. Notice the map. And you'll be fine. You'll have to beat a few enemies along the way. <clears throat> Nope, that's not the way. I think it's over this way. It's always best to check your map every now and then. <clears throat> well, the only thing those enemies will do to you is just bump into you. even remember where the thing is. It's been a while since I played this game. If it's over in this section, I'm gonna be upset. Oh! We're going the right way. Hey! <clears throat> oh, look at that! It's the hero of the American people! Go no further! There is a black wall ahead that blocks the way! I thought I would deliver a few letters, but it seems impossible. I am the honorable and dependable letter carrier known to some as the Postman. Now that I've introduced myself, please take this letter and read it at your leisure. To read a letter, press the plus button to open your collection and select the letter. You can do that to read any letters you receive. Do it and receive it. Well, my business is concluded. Onward to mail! <laughs> All right. So you open your menu, select the letters here, and you can read your letters. About mail delivery. If I have a letter for you, I will approach you at high speed. Please do not flee. There we go. Okay, so it's along this way to the left. Sorry that I got a little lost there, guys. Anyway, you want to go this way now. And sure enough, straight ahead is the Black Wall of Twilight. <clears throat> hey, it was much closer than I thought. You remember, right? You know what this is? <clears throat> if you set foot in there, you might be a wolf again for quite some time. 
For at least as long as it takes for you to save the light of Elden from the twilight, anyway. So, shall we try to go see the light spirit of Elden? Hehe. <laughs> <sighs> Excuse me. There we go. You might not be able to see the entirety of the screen, but that's alright. Want me to let you into the twilight? Do it. <clears throat> I apologize for the slight camera adjustments you saw me make. I just want to make sure you guys can see what's happening. Alright, so we're back up. And we're a wolf. You look pretty good as a wolf. That's a good boy. Now you need to listen to what I say from now on. Ah, uh, look, how lovely. The black clouds of twilight are so fetching today. I feel so much more at ease here. And you look much better like this than in those old dusty clothes anyway. <laughs> so let's get going. Alright, so run along this path here. And you'll see something ahead. Oh, that looks familiar. Press A to sniff. Mallow. No, Mallow, Tallow, Mallow, Beth, Colin. You learned the youth scent. See, isn't being a wolf more convenient? Now, use plus, use left and right to hone your senses. Yeah. We know the drill. So you use your senses, and you'll be able to see where the smell is going. Whoa! Oh, jeez. One, two, three! Man, that was much closer than I thought it was. Aw, oh, man, the bridge is gone. What's this? That's strange, the bridge is gone. I wonder if this is the work of those shadow creatures. Ugh, what a pain. Oh well, let's look for it. You, get your map out. The yellow arrow marks where we are. You knew that, right? Whenever you destroy those creatures from the darkness, a portal opens to the map that looks like this. You hear me? It's called a portal. You'd better remember that. And in those woods we came through... Yes, it's gotta be around there. Alright. So. <coughs> we have to go to North Farron Woods. Because there was something there that we saw. And thanks to the portals that we've opened up, we can easily travel to different areas. See? I told you. We're here. You know, most people can't leave the twilight that easily. You better be grateful. It's your job to look for the bridge. Look hard. And up ahead, you'll see that bridge we saw earlier. This is why I told you guys to remember this area. So, so call Midna. Wow, it's perfect, don't you think? What do you think? Should we take it? Let's warp. Good little obedient wolf. So we want to warp it to Kakariko Gorge. Go ahead. I love that sound effect. It's pretty adorable sounding, in my opinion. And it's gone. And so are we! And, thanks to Binda's teleportation, we were able to get the bridge to the area. See? 
just as I thought. <clears throat> so, isn't the power of Twilight amazing? Call me if you need the power again. It should help you find what you're looking for, don't you think? All right, let's keep going. And we got a new enemy. <clears throat> Twilight Bulblins. Very easy to deal with. Just fight them the way you did the regular Bulblins in wolf form. There we go. Ah, you dropped no hearts. So keep following the scent and you'll come to this gate here. It's closed, so we can't go through like that. Huh? What are they doing here? There. This is a pretty elaborate gate. Who, what are they trying to keep in? Or out? I bet it'll be worth our while to dig in. So go here. And dig under. Okay, so keep going down this way, pretty straightforward. And you'll come to a new area. Oh great, more shadow beasts to beat. This is Kakariko Village. Again, it doesn't look anything like the one we saw in Aquamino Time. So step one, kill the lone one first. Then take both of the others at the same time. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Alright, there we go. To the hero who was transformed into a blue-eyed beast in the realms of shadows called in twilight. This way. Will do. First, let me grab a couple of these hearts. There we go. Now I'm at full health. So you go over this way. I am a spirit of light. Hero, chosen by the gods. Look for my light. Gather the stolen light. Gather the light stolen by the shadows into this. And just like with Pharaon, we'll get the Vessel of Light. And we have to do the same thing we did before. The Insects of Darkness. They are the form taken by the e evil that attached itself to my scattered light. In this shadowy twilight, the shadow insects are invisible, much as the people from your light world are. With the last of my power, let me mark your map with the locations of the tears that have been turned into shadow insects. But be careful, the darkness now hunts you. Alrighty. So the scent leads this way. But we need to get in there somehow. How do we get in? Hey, you can climb up here. Oh, down we go. Kids? Cripes, I don't see those black broods anywhere. They gotta be hiding somewhere waiting for the helpless little prey to come out. Then they'll feast! We are safe as long as we remain in here, child. Be at ease. Oh yeah, I wonder if the monsters out there agree with you. They sure didn't seem impressed by my bombs. How long do you think we can hold this sanctuary against the beasts that strong, huh? Once they attack, it's over. 
Remember the lady from the general store? Just one of those things attacked her and a whole gang from town went to save her. And what happened? She was already gone and then there were two monsters waiting. You connecting the dots? That means if we get attacked by them, then we'll be... Barnes! <laughs> Look, Renato, all I mean to say is that it's risky here, too. Ain't you got some place we can hide? There is a cellar. What? You've got a cellar? Where's the entrance, man? The entrance to the cellar is designed to open when all of the candles have been lit. I would not do that. When Father instructed me to secure the cellar, I saw insects like the beasts outside. Don't cry, Beth. It'll be okay. Link is coming to save us all. I can feel it. kids knew you'd come to save them. What a hero. How sad to be in front of someone and not be noticed at all. You were chosen by the gods, and only that keeps you from turning into a spirit, or worse, into a dark monster when you enter Twilight. And no one knows what you have done. You made me doomed to Twilight's obscurity forever. You're the type to worry about everything, I can tell, but don't fret over Princess Zelda. She chose this state of affairs after all. Anyway, what's with having to light candles to get to the basement? Not very subtle, is it? So, what are you going to do now, my lonely little hero? Hee <laughs> Alright. So now we gotta light the candles up. So, hop. And hop. Oh, hop. Hop. And hop. And... There we go. Let's put the stick down. What sorcery is this? The entrance to the cellar opening on its own. Could those bees have engineered even this? Right, seems like everyone's trying to pull a fast one these days. Boy, I have no idea who this Link fella is, but I've gotta say, I ain't overly confident he's gonna come to save this village. Gee, thanks. Alright, so now you gotta go down here. Because there are a couple of insects to find. Or three. There we go. One. Two. Three. There's an owl statue there. You'll want to make note of that. How about that? Looks like you can climb into the climb the scaffolding. So use the midna jumps to jump out of there. And now we're in the graveyard. So there's a twilight insect. There we go. And grab that tier real quick. So we've got four tiers so far. So just exit the graveyard and you'll be back in Kakariko Village.
Alrighty. So in this village, we gotta find... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight here, and three more there in the other province. But I'm gonna save that for next time. Next time on The Legend of Zelda Twilight Princess, we will continue to hunt for the dark insects in the Elden Province. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye!